In George Orwell's book 1984, the fictional government employs devices known as telescreens. Installed in every household and public places, these devices broadcast party propaganda while simultaneously functioning as surveillance tools, transmitting audio and video back to the fought police. Orwell wrote 1984 as a warning against the dangers of totalitarianism and drew inspiration from the oppressive regimes of his time, such as Nazi Germany and the Stalinist Soviet Union. However, his critique extends beyond these historical examples and targets the potential for any government to exploit technology for the purposes of control and manipulation. Published in 1949 amidst the aftermath of World War II and the onset of the Cold War, 1984 mirrors Orwell's profound concerns regarding governmental overreach, the erosion of individual freedoms and the potential abuse of technology. The book came out over 75 years ago, but given the current technological advancements, it may be more relevant than it has ever been. This is the rise of AI surveillance. AI surveillance refers to the use of artificial intelligence technologies such as machine learning and pattern recognition to monitor, analyze and manage large volumes of data collected for surveillance activities. The core of AI surveillance lies in its ability to learn and make decisions. Unlike traditional surveillance, which requires human analysis, AI systems can autonomously recognize patterns, phases and anomalies. They process vast amounts of data from various sources such as CCTV footage, phone calls, internet activity and GPS tracking to identify potential threats, manage traffic or even predict human behavior. Modern surveillance began with the advent of photography in the 19th century. This progress to the use of closed circuit television or CCTV cameras in the mid 20th century, initially to monitor public spaces and prevent crime. With the digital revolution, surveillance took a significant leap. Digital cameras, online tracking and electronic databases emerged, which allowed for the collection and storage of vast amounts of personal data. The events of September 11, 2001 marked a pivotal moment in surveillance history. It led to a global search in state-sponsored surveillance to protect national security. But the real game changer has been the integration of AI. This began in the beginning of the 21st century, as advances in machine learning, facial recognition and predictive analytics transformed surveillance from passive monitoring to active and predictive monitoring. AI could now sift through data at an unprecedented scale and identify patterns invisible to the human eye. So what does that look like? In the UK, police forces are significantly ramping up their use of AI surveillance, particularly facial recognition technology. There are two primary types of facial recognition employed by the police in England and Wales. Live face recognition or LFR involves cameras, often mounted to police vans that scan people's faces in real time as they walk by. These faces are then checked against a watch list of wanted individuals. LFR is actively deployed at major events such as concerts and sports matches, which are announced in advance by the police. Retrospective face recognition or RFR analyzes images from various sources like CCTV, smartphones and doorbell cameras. The collected images are fed into a system that attempts to identify persons based on a vast database of existing photos. The application of these technologies has been extensive. In 2023, the Metropolitan Police used LFR on 22 different locations over a year and scanned the faces of around a quarter million people at various events, including the King's Coronation and a soccer match between Arsenal and Tottenham. This led to 12 arrests. South Wales Police deployed LFR 9 times and scanned an estimated 700,000 faces which resulted in 2 arrests. The UK government, particularly the Conservative administration, is backing a rapid increase in the use of facial recognition. They want to double face searches against national databases and to collaborate with retail stores to identify shoplifters. It can be argued that China takes it a step further. They have developed one of the most extensive and advanced surveillance systems in the world and have deployed millions of AI-enhanced cameras. 
Their network integrates data from surveillance cameras, online activities and public records and enables real-time tracking and analysis of citizens' movements and behaviors. Law enforcement uses this technology for efficient tracking of suspects and in some instances to issue automatic fines that affect individual social credit scores. The social credit system assesses the trustworthiness and societal compliance of individuals. It incorporates data from numerous sources such as financial and criminal records, along with online behavior and adherence to traffic regulations. This process is significantly facilitated by AI-driven facial recognition in public areas. Low social credit scores can lead to penalties like travel restrictions and slower internet, with severe violations publicly displayed to deter misconduct. These are just two examples, but AI surveillance is being employed by governments all around the world. The FBI plans to use Amazon's controversial recognition cloud service to quote, extract information and insights from lawfully acquired images and videos, according to US Justice Department documents. And during the COVID-19 pandemic, some European countries used AI surveillance tools for contact tracing, to monitor social distancing and manage quarantine compliance. The benefits of using AI surveillance can be substantial. By analyzing vast amounts of data in real time, AI systems can detect unusual behaviors, identify potential threats and alert authorities much faster than human operators. A great example is the AI-powered mountain fire detection system in South Korea from Kepco, a Korean electricity company in collaboration with the National Fire Agency. It's been developed to protect the country's power grid from fires, prevent blackouts and safeguard human lives and properties. The system is mounted on electric towers in mountainous areas and captures live feed visuals and thermal imagery. It is reported to have an impressive 99% fire detection rate and will allow firefighters to quickly take action when a fire is detected. But the use of AI surveillance systems also comes with privacy issues and ethical implications. Privacy refers to the right of individuals to keep their personal life and personal information out of public view, or to control the flow and usage of that information. But with AI surveillance, this fundamental right can be compromised. This year, it came to light that the police in the UK have been using the country's passport holder database to conduct facial recognition searches without public disclosure for the last three years. There are also substantial ethical implications associated with AI surveillance. One major concern is the potential for biases within AI algorithms. If an AI system is trained on biased data, it can lead to discriminatory outcomes. In the Netherlands, the Toeslagenaffaire or Childcare Benefit Scandal serves as a cautionary tale of how algorithmic decision making can lead to unjust outcomes. Families, primarily from low-income and ethnic minority backgrounds, were wrongly accused of fraud due to flaws in the algorithms used by the Dutch tax authorities. The consequences for those wrongfully accused were severe and led to debt, unemployment and forced evictions due to their inability to pay rent or mortgage. Some of the families also got their children taken away as they weren't seen fit to take care of them anymore. Today, Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte and his entire cabinet resigned to take responsibility. Bloomberg's Diederik Basel sent us this report from The Hague as Rutte was still making his way by bicycle to hand in his resignation to the Dutch king. In the meantime, governments all over the world continue to roll out AI-based surveillance systems. The American tax authorities have started to use AI and aim to uncover complex tax evasion strategies by the wealthy. The French police are going to use it for the upcoming 2024 Olympic Games. And Japan is currently testing AI cameras like in the movie Minority Report that are designed to prevent crimes before they happen. Where is this going? While there can be great benefits from using AI, we must ask ourselves. How do we ensure safety without compromising our freedoms? And where do we as society draw the line? The ethical development of AI systems is crucial. Governments must address and rectify biases within algorithms to ensure fairness and impartiality. This includes transparent algorithms and the consideration of societal impacts during the AI design process. 
By prioritizing ethics in AI creation, we can mitigate risks of discrimination and safeguard the fundamental rights of freedoms and individuals. In any case, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one.